All right, more news, more news. I remember Ethos mentioned this on one of our earlier podcasts. It wasn't the last one. I think it was the one before. And I said, I forgot about it. Me and TBA forgot about it. But um, we were on the subject of Activision and Call of Duty and Sony not having a, uh, a, a true FPS, you know, and we were going over the FPS game that they did have in the past that they no longer make or support. And then we were talking about how Destiny uh, 2 and, and them buying Bungie like probably wasn't the best idea. But this one got announced. Um, it's called Concord. And there was no gameplay. It was just a trailer. And I didn't know it was going to be FPS. I literally knew nothing about it. That's why, I, like, when Ethos reminded me of the trailer, I was like, oh. I was like, oh, I do remember seeing this. But again, I didn't think anything of it. Because I was like, what the hell is that? Like, again, anything, any trailer with, not, with no gameplay. That I'm not already familiar with. I'm like, well, what is that? I don't know. So anyway, this is gaining steam now because I guess they're finally ready to show some more of what this game is going to be. So this is going to be FPS called Concord, and they said that it's coming soon. Um, so there's a chance that we are going to get more details. So again, not fully confirmed yet, but uh, PlayStation's uh, upcoming live service. If I can, anytime I see live service now, I just kind of cringe. I'm not going. I just kind of cranced because I'm like, oh, here we go. Another live service game that's trying to get a piece of what we're already doing. Again, we go back to 60% of gamers play the same 10 games. They've been playing the same 10 games for years. Fortnite, Minecraft, GTA 5, all the Duty, 2K, you know, all the same game. Roblox, you've been playing all of those games. So I'm like, here we go again. <laughs> Another live service game. Um, but they said that we are or we might be given more details about Concord within the next few days. Uh, game developers Firewalk Studios and Concord is its debut title. Now, again, oh, if this is their debut title, they again raises slightly red flags. I'm not saying that they can't do a good job, but generally, if they don't have a track record, then you have to be extremely cautious about what this could possibly be. But, you know, it seems that Sony is banking on, you know, maybe this FPS since we don't know what's going to happen with Bungie and, you know, they're uh, in Marathon. You know, Destiny is always going to be Destiny. And, you know, they're, they're just probably just going to expand that to that, just bring out a whole bunch of expansions till they decide that they're done. But we don't know what's going on with Marathon. And like I said, all the rumors that we've been hearing have not been good. We don't know what's going on with Bungie. Bungie is kind of like losing their uh, their overall stock in, in my opinion. You know, and Sony is probably looking at them right now, like they're poking them with a stick, like make make us money, make us money. You're not doing anything. So uh, maybe Sony finally bowed out and they're like, you know what? Like since, you know, uh, Microsoft has Activision now, they're going to get Call of Duty. You no, know, we're not going to really get any money off that. We need to try desperately to find an FPS that's going to be able to, you know, actually compete. So that according to Deal Lab, there will be a second reveal for Concord in the next 15 days. Whether it will be a PlayStation Showcase or at Summer's Game Fest on June 7th is currently unknown. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I would think that if they if they gave us some actual gameplay or more reveals on Concord, it would be on any of those. I think that's safe to say. The reveal will reportedly show off some playable characters in Concord as well as some new gameplay footage. The upcoming info was poorly already prepared at the State of Play presentation back in January but it was pulled from the showcase due to issues with Concord's PC version. Mm -hmm. Don't be blaming the PC, man. I don't know what's going on. Don't be blaming the PC community. They're not going to like that. <laughs> There's a rumor going around. The PlayStation will hold its next day to play presentation sometime this month. So it's possible uh, sometime this this. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I don't think they would do it this month, but definitely in June. Um, so, so it's possible that the new Concord detail will be shown. Concord is also set to launch sometime this year for PS5 and PC. So we shall see. I am optimistic. Uh, buddy? A little bit? A little bit? Maybe? Maybe? Uh, a little intrigued. A little intrigued. I want to say optimistic. I'm, I'm a little intrigued about it. I do want to see what this could look like. Um, but like I said, when I see live surface, then I kind of cringe. So we shall see um, if we see more uh, more information. Play. See some gameplay. What are you looking like? What are you looking like? All right. 
and in more playstation slash sony news a naughty dog's new game could redefine mainstream perceptions of gaming says neil Druck. and Druck, familiars last of us and party series and apparently a new game has been teased at the naughty dog camp oh my god thank god a new game a new ip hello <laughs> no more last of us or at least putting the pause on on last of us no no next uncharted hmm a new game that could redefine mainstream's perception of game that's some deep stuff that's some that's some deep stuff right <laughs> I think this is a bunch of cap. I think this is a bunch of cap. Where's my uh where's where's my my sound effect at? Where are you? Oh god. I think that's a bunch of cap. Yeah, I think that's a bunch of cap. What do y'all think about this, man? Y'all y'all think there's any validity to this statement? I think it's a bunch of smoke screen. I think this is something just to get us hype, to be honest. I think this is something just to get us hype. There's some buzzwords that's gonna have us thinking, oh my god, man. Naughty dogs cooking, boy. They cooking up some in the kitchen. They cooking up some in the kitchen. It's not the last of us and uncharted. I doubt it though. I doubt it. Whatever you're gonna come up with, it's probably I, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a hot take right here. I bet you whatever the next game is will have elements of either Uncharted or The Last of Us. I bet you will have elements of either one of those games. It seems like that's all a Naughty Dog can do at this point. It seems like all they can do at this point. That's my hot take. You know, I Naughty Dog is another company that's lost stock uh, to me. Definitely lost stock to me. So we shall see what this new game is. Naughty Dog has made a lot of missteps. We've been knocked upside the head with a million different Last of Us uh, over the past almost 10 years at this point, man. Almost 10 years between Last of Us 1 and 2. It span span across freaking what was it two two uh console generations and then PC like geez man actually three I don't know three yeah PS3 four and five three actually so I ain't trying to hear that about something that is gonna redefine mainstream perception of the game it sounds like some live service crap that that's what it sounds like to me it sounds like some more live service stuff to be honest so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was a hot water because he he calls like yeah he talked about AI too I did see that he talked about AI so there's gonna be another red flag because I don't think too many people like I mean again I'm not I, I I'm not the biggest uh hater on AI when it comes to like assets and stuff I know that there are some people that are like nah like I, I'm not messing with that if you're not you're not drawing this stuff by scratch if you're not creating these animations by scratch then i don't want to parse it i think ai can be used in creative ways but there have been some you know instances where ai has been used to you know create some assets that you can instantly tell you know have been stolen um from or you know just blatantly copy and paste from something else so i do understand that part you know why people are upset so uh we don't know man but if you're talking about whatever new game that y'all are cooking could redefine mainstream perception of gaming but at, at the same break you're talking about that you know you're ready to embrace ai then yeah i you know I, I think it's a bunch of cap right there i think it's a bunch of cap can we see a teaser of some of the game fast for the new game i don't know i don't know no you know i've been ran out of ideas when they start remastering everything facts you need to go back to the studio and release factions i don't think that's ever good. i think we just need to get that i mean i agree and you know ethos been he, he was very upset when factions got canned uh, you know, that's all that people really want. They just want faction. So I think that's that's unfortunately, you know, long, long gone. But uh we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I think it's a bunch of cap with that statement. Definitely think it's a bunch of cap with that. So we'll see. We'll see what they have cooking. But like I said, my hot take is it's gonna look a lot similar to Uncharted and or Last of Us. I don't think it's gonna look too much different. It's gonna be in a new universe, but I think it's gonna have some of the same elements as both of those games. The naughty dog. For some reason, can't seem to create anything else now. It's crazy to play it until I announce the summer showcase. Yeah, yeah. I said like, I'm pretty sure I have something. Like I don't think that they would abandon it. Like they're either going to do it like the week, like the week of what E3 or some of the game fest is supposed to be, or they do it before. Because I'm pretty sure last year Sony did Sony hop out the gate first. I'm pretty sure Sony hopped out the gate first with their own showcase, like right before 
the uh the the E three so who knows who knows but we'll see we'll see um in the next couple of weeks you know we're gonna have a lot of news so that's gonna be exciting it's gonna be exciting I always love June because you know we always get the new new what up uh, Blake uh say AI commentator in chat. AI commentator. Uh, all right. Last bit of news here. That's a lot of Sony news. I just realized there's a lot of Sony news. <laughs> PlayStation exec believes game developers will prioritize immersive narratives over ever improving graphics in the future. That the man who heads PlayStation Productions and product at PlayStation Studios believe that the future of gaming will be about immersive narrative i find this hilarious because sony has really been about that and i mean yeah it's kind of an obvious statement at this point i know that graphics i would say graphics like back when we started the gi podcast back when we started the gi podcast you know we recalled a bunch of pc elitists we were talking about 60 fps and how good the games look on the pc and you know why are you all talking about graphics all the time when you should be focusing on uh fps you know whether the game is stable and then you know the uh the ps4 and xbox uh xbox one came out and people started slowly singing that like hey like yeah the graphics look nice but you're kind of like selling us like you're selling those wolf tickets at this point because you're you know you're trying to tell 4k but the game runs like dog crap or the game is is not truly 4k but it's just upscale to 4k like once people started waking up like you said well you know i don't want to use the term woke but when people started waking up and finally seeing that hey like you aren't really selling us the product that you're claiming to sell us then that's when people started really opening their eyes and they're like hey like i actually do like i i care that a game looks good but I actually care about whether the game runs well or not. Once people started seeing through 60 FPS on consoles, then that's when people started really caring about what type of game that they're getting. Does it play well? And you, and then once the PS5 and Xbox Series S and X came out, and you started seeing more options in more of these games, do you want to prioritize performance or do you want to prioritize graphics? Like actually giving you the option you know, because that wasn't a thing on consoles. It's always been the thing going on PC. You know, we were able to do that for the longest, but on consoles, you all didn't get the option. So now that you all actually get the option, you know, again, more people are starting to see like, hey, I do have a choice here. Like, what do I want to prioritize? But anyways, so, and you know, and that's when I, I started, you know, seeing, you know, people's perception change, like their overall want, their overall priority change. You know, people started caring about performance more over graphics so this is kind of an obvious statement but let's continue to read on um he said that uh, Assad said he thinks the developer will focus on emotional storytelling over visual fidelity and, you know that's what people have been claiming that Sony's been doing uh, all along like they've only been making some banger single player story focused games um and other other companies may have not been creating so many, you know, single, single player story, you know, immersive story focus game. Um, so let's see, spot by VGC, Sony posted an interview and discuss how video game medium might change over the next years. For creators of PlayStation executive believes they'll be able to just create so much more emotion in the story. The focus is going to shift from graphics or visuals to immersive narrative that resonate long after the controller is set down. I say he's also bullish on AI, so we have another person bullish on AI <laughs> and how that will affect the medium going forward. Advances in AI will create more personalized experiences and meaningful stories for consumers. So, okay, so they're saying as AI grows, it's gonna make more, I don't know, AI creating more personalized experiences and meaningful stories. I wonder what he truly means. That. let's continue to read on uh for instance npcs and in games can interact with players based on their action oh okay okay uh, so imagine that an npc who you know wouldn't normally i mean but how would they well never mind i i could i could see like it i mean i obviously vr would would create that um 
if you if you like shout at your controller if you're angry maybe the npc will react to you i think that would be interesting actually i said we'll take it i heard that in a minute <laughs> I think I think that would be interesting though. I mean, kind of scary thinking about that, but an NPC reacting to how like how your emotion is would be would be slightly interesting. So I can I can see what he's trying to say there. The NPC is gonna be powered by ChatGPT. <laughs> Sony also showed off what a PlayStation controller would look like in twenty or could look like in twenty thirty four. The device features a floating screen thanks to futuristic VR glasses, which already are again VR. However, it's notable the controller doesn't offer a D-pad or even traditional buttons. Just imagine, like, man, in, in, in another 10 years, we're we're playing games just like this. Like we're looking, looking through our VR glasses, and like, I don't know, we have again, we have a virtual controller, and you know, we're we're moving like this. I don't know. They they're just really just trying to make it like fully VR that or or predicting that it's gonna be fully VR. We'll see. We'll see if in, in another 10 years, to, you know, we fully in, in, embrace VR and what it could possibly be. So we'll see. Um, and, you know, to the person who was to mention AI, they mentioned it here. And meanwhile, Naughty Dog, Neil Druckmann, he's a studio in that game and also promoted AI in the game's future. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so you had that same statement here. So, uh, and the more near future, Sony could be launching the upgraded PS5, which we already uh, heard of those. Womp womp. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it looks like Sony and other people within the Sony camp are fully on board with AI and what it could potentially do in the future. So we shall see, man. Another 10 years, we, we may have a totally different experience when it comes to playing video games. So yeah, I mean, if we're all wearing VR headsets or glasses and we're playing games without controllers, then yeah, I think it would set off a more emotional experience because again, you're going to feel like you're playing you look you're like actually in the game so i can see how you know a more emotional experience could um to tie in there with uh with how the game basically reacts to you so interesting. we'll see we shall see